This will be the third video on section 3.4, slope. We're going to look at two postulates. Postulate number 17 talks about the slope of parallel lines. It tells you that two distinct, that means different, non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. So they say non-vertical because vertical lines have an undefined slope. Every other slope has a numerical value to it. So if the numerical values are the same, then the lines are parallel. And then it also tells you that all vertical lines are parallel too. So since you can't compare the numerical values of vertical lines, you could just say all vertical lines are parallel. So parallel lines have the same slope, basically. Postulate 18, perpendicular lines. Their slopes have a product of negative one. Another way to say this is their slopes are opposite reciprocals. Opposite meaning if one's positive, the other's negative, vice versa. And reciprocals meaning you take the fraction, numerator, denominator, and you flip it. Opposite reciprocals. Now, they also tell you horizontal lines are perpendicular to vertical lines, just because, again, vertical lines don't have a numerical value associated with them. We're going to draw a perpendicular line. Line H, that's this yellow one, passes through point three zero, that's this one, and point seven six, that's this one. Graph the line that's perpendicular to this line that passes through the ordered pair two, five, that's this guy. Last chapter, we had a perpendicular postulate. There's infinitely many lines that go through this point, but how many of them go through this point are also perpendicular to this line. Just one. That's what the postulate says. Now we need to draw the one and only line that's perpendicular to this. And we're going to do this by using the information in the new postulates that we just talked about. Okay, so slopes of perpendicular lines, that's what we need. Opposite reciprocals. You can find the slope of this line. So let's do that. I'm going to do it just by counting. I'm going to go to the right and then up. One, two, three, four to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six up. That's my slope, six fourths. And it makes sense to me because it's positive. The line's going uphill. Now, the only other thing I could do is maybe reduce that. Six fourths is the same thing as three halves. That's the slope of this yellow line. Now, you need a line that's perpendicular to this. So if it's going to be perpendicular to this line, the slope has to be opposite. So we're going to get a slope of this other line over here. So opposite would be negative. Two thirds. So meaning from here we have to go down two and three to the right. Notice that puts us right on the line. These two points make that new line with that slope. So I'll do my best to connect it. I can't guarantee it's going to look too good, but actually it doesn't look too bad. This is the one and only line that's perpendicular to this line. How do I know? Well, I found the slope of this line. I know what the slope of this line has to be. So I put that point in a certain spot, so the lines are guaranteed to be perpendicular. 